Threat intelligence is transparently integrated into every corner of Cybreeze and XDR platform, automatically leveraging machine learning to amplify internal and external IOC threat sources in the threat detection process. Internal customized threat intelligence is managed with reputation lists for static elements such as domain names or file hashes, and through behavioral-based detection with the previously mentioned behavioral allow listing and custom detection rule features. You can easily add static elements to your reputation list and specify whether the Cyreason platform should always allow the item, in which case it will not trigger a malop when encountered, whether it should trigger a malop, or whether it should trigger a malop and the Cyreason platform will prevent it from executing. You can also set an expiration date, at which time the platform removes the item from the reputation list. To hunt for artifacts related to threat intel sources, analysts can search for static indicators of compromise, such as hash values or IP addresses, provided by threat intel sources from the investigation screen. But the real power comes from being able to hunt for behavioral TTPs. For example, let's look at the recent Log4j vulnerability. You can hunt for the threat intel identified TTPs associated with this vulnerability by building a query that looks for all Java server processes that create child processes of type shell, and which have external connections. Hunts can also be performed based on the verbal description of TTPs, such as log4 shell. Cybreason acts as both the producer and consumer of threat intelligence data. To demonstrate Cybreason's capability to connect with the threat intelligence ecosystem, we can look at the Netscope threat management platform. Just one example of a threat intel platform that supports both bringing in threat intelligence as well as connecting and driving ecosystem integration. The Cybreason platform continuously hunts for indicators of compromise it receives from the consumed threat intel data and generates a malop if encountered. When the Cybreason platform detects new threats, such as a particular process performing malicious activity with a specific domain, Cybreason will share this information with the other connections you have established. Another way the platform uses existing threat intel to inform advanced detection is through Cybreason's binary similarity analysis patented algorithms. Because creating new types of malware can be expensive and time-consuming, attackers often modify, obfuscate, and package their existing malware to avoid detection by existing protection tools. To help fight this technique, Cybreason performs binary similarity analysis which uses a proprietary algorithm that analyzes binaries, including files, network, and memory data, to identify previously unknown malware based on its similarity to existing malware. For example, take this file whose specific hash is not recognized as malicious by threat intelligence sources. We can use the Cybreason binary similarity analysis feature to analyze the file and find potential similarities to existing malware. Here we see the file is likely related to the Emotet strain of ransomware. Cybreason provides multiple possible matches along with match details and in-depth comparisons. With the binary similarity analysis patented algorithms, analysts can identify previously unknown strains of malware and make educated decisions as to its maliciousness. Advanced teams with lengthy audit requirements and threat hunting needs may find that they need to apply this threat intelligence to historical data. With the Cybreason Historical Data Lake, organizations can retain data in platform for up to two years. Using the Historical Data Lake, analysts can query index data and select what data to unarchive or replay for the purposes of performing more in depth queries and hunts on this historical data. The Historical Data Lake may be useful in cases like the SolarWinds attack, where IOCs were identified much later. You can look back at older data to identify indicators of this attack. You can also use the historical data lake to investigate specific machines or users over longer periods of time, or to confirm compliance or satisfy audits.